Right, the uh, filler's starting to cure. See that? Just read the pack and it's 20 minutes. Oh, it starts to go hard and it's been out 20 minutes, but I've got to give it a little bit longer, I think. Yeah, a bit longer, I think, but we're almost there. Um, so what we are going to try and do in the meantime is deal with this. Um, so, uh, what are the aims? <laughs> the aims are going to be, see if we can sort this bracket out, because it draws your attention to the state of the exhaust, I think, because it's no longer true. It's uh, this horrible kink in it. Now, I am a metal, <laughs> metal worker or a body panel worker in any way, shape or form. But, again, I've got the benefit of it's in such a state that uh, it's not going to end up looking for worse by the time I've finished. So I think I'm going to try and, and get this off and then with no skill or clue really, try and beat it into submission with a mallet. See if we can straighten it up. Interestingly, this is, oh, it was a beautiful shiny exhaust, the Delkovic one. Um, but you'll notice that the muffler is nice and shiny and the actual tube itself it's this beautiful sort of like brushed gold colour, really nice. Um, so I was wondering whether to try and get some of these out, is it possible to push to polish this muffler box, even if it no loses its shine, if it just ends up with much more of a matte colour, it might have to hide and disguise some of these cracks. And I'm like, I'm cool with that. I'm not bothered whether it's bright shiny or not. Um, anybody who knows anything about that, feel free to pop in the comments, tell me it's a stupid idea and it'll never work. Or um, um, give me another suggestion if there is one. Um, I can put some metal polish over it, but fundamentally, these scuffs are never coming back. But I don't, I don't object to. I've seen a couple of bikes with um, like a matte colour exhaust rather than a shiny one, and like I, I dig that. I'm, I'm, I'm down with that. So, yeah. Any suggestions? Any ideas? Please feel free to pop them in as long as they're nice ones. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, we'll see if we can get this hanger off, and um, we'll put it over on a uh, on a worktop somewhere, and we're going to beat it and see if we can beat it into some form of uh, normal shape. Wish me luck. Right, taking the hanger off, so you can see the state of it here. So this is the rubber liner that's um, supposed to sit inside to protect the uh, shiny finish of the, uh, of the muffler, which <laughs> I've destroyed anyway. So we can see that's kind of what we're dealing with, that it's not even close to straight anymore. Now this is just assume it's just stainless steel so it does have a little bit of pliability in it so yeah I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do but let's we'll see if we can't straighten this so that's the before so the after shot in a minute should look better although I suspect it may look just as bad <laughs> but we can try giving it a bit of a beat hammer and plies and try to pull it back Realistically, I think that's as good as I'm going to get it. I don't actually know myself whether that looks much better. I guess I'll look back in the video and see the before and after, but to the eye, maybe it doesn't look as bad. I mean, it's scuffed up something wrong. I might give her, um, see if I can contact Delkovic and see if I can just buy another bracket, to be honest. But for now, it's a little bit better than it was, I think. Maybe we'll see. Get it fitted back on the bike, and then I think we'll be ready to, um, to have a good sanding down the filler. So we've kind of vaguely straightened the support for the exhaust and I do think it looks a little bit better than it did. So again I'm, I'm as satisfied as I think I'm going to be with that. But more importantly this is all now ready to sand. So I'm going to get the sanding block I'm going to rough this up, see where we are and uh, start the process of trying to build this up I think. Sanding block, here we go. Just finished the first sand 
and yeah I'm fairly happy with the way the first go has gone can't feel any gaps between my uh, thumb and the actual fairing panel itself anywhere there so that's good that's going to need that second skim over that was that hole if you remember from the first part, from the first video so that's going to need um, another quick whip over and as you can remember this was the other hole it's not too bad as a starter but that's going to need another fill over and try and just see if we can create a little bit of a peak and then it just needs back filling in there a little bit as well just where some of the lacquers come away and some of it's dug away but as a starter for 10 yeah I think I'm all right with that mix up some more um, some more filler and we'll have another go just like the second lot of filler to the lower fairing got something that looks vaguely like the shape so we're going to let that sit and dry for 20 minutes to half an hour I think um, and then we'll have another stand back with it and then we'll start um, working up through the different grits um, it's 120 initially to start it go up to 240, 600, 800 and then we'll finish off with a bit of 1200 and then to be honest we're going to leave it there for today um, I'm going to take the bike out hopefully all being well if the weather's nice tomorrow so I don't want to put a fresh bit of paint on it now in case I get a stone chip uh, and my son and I are going go karting um, later on today so that'll be fun but we've got enough time to sand this down I think get it ready um, so that it's ready to paint but can't do anything yet for another 20 minutes so tea time I'd say well earned but then to be honest if I hadn't dropped it in the first place I wouldn't have to do this it's not well earned it's more so me paying back the bike for a little bit cheers just finished giving it a second sand down and we're probably at the point there where we're done now for today I think so it's had two lots of filler put on it as I'm rubbing my finger over it I can't actually feel any of the bumps that blends in so I'm quite happy with that so we've gone over it with uh, what have we had we've hit it with 120 240 then we refilled this to try and get it a little bit more of a pronounced curve on it which I think you can see that we kind of have some quick please well um, then we came back at it with another lot of 120 just on this to smooth it down a little bit of 240 then hit it with some 600 and 800 I think that's probably where we're gonna uh, where I'm gonna leave it for today at least anyway because um, I'm at the point where I don't really want to sand it any further or get it any nicer because I feel like it's something I should probably hang fire until I'm about to paint it because if I do it now and then I'm going out on the road tomorrow if it's a, if it's a decent morning um, it, I would have to do it all again anyway so I'm happy with where we're at um, when I paint it I'm only going to paint this section and I know that's the wrong thing to do I know that really I should paint the entire panel but I'm going to lay a bit of a coat of black down on it first and it'll give me a rough idea of um, how good a repair I've done and whether it looks all right and then if I can blend it in to a point where I'm happy and my level of happiness is, is fairly low to be honest bear in mind the state that it was in to start with then I'll leave it at that if it annoys me and it really bothers me then if I'm going to repaint it it's going to be out of a rattle can anyway but if I'm going to repaint I might as well find the paint code for the Honda and actually try and get it to match that because the Hondas are slightly more black black if that makes any sense this is like a flat black and this has got a little bit of paint uh, flaking it and stuff so if I'm going to do it I might as well do it properly so but yeah quite happy with that um, and then next time you join me I'll be uh, doing a final paint prep and then uh, put a little bit of paint on it it's now the next day took the bike out for a little ride this morning uh, which was fun so there'll be a video at some point to, to watch about that but now we're going to give it a bit of a go over with a rattle can and see if we can make it look a little bit better than it is. Now, if I was doing this properly, I would be priming it, but I would also be painting this entire panel because it's not that big. But to start with, I'm just going to hit it with just some satin black rattle can from Halpert. Um Kind of to say, almost to use it as like a base primer to see what the finish is like. Uh, if I like the finish, I'm happy with it. If it doesn't look too bad, we'll leave it. 
if not, as I mentioned previously, we might get a, um, a paint colour matched up. And then, because if I'm going to paint the, if I have to paint the entire panel, I might as well paint the entire panel the correct colour of black rather than the black that it is, which doesn't really match. So I'm giving it a bit of a wipe down with alcohol wipe. It's got a little bit of a keyed surface, so let's see. Again, best thing to remember is can't look worse than it already does. Hit it with the first coat and doesn't look too bad so far. Need to give it another coat yet. The um, the paint job that I did, I'm fairly happy with it. Certainly can't see any holes and there's a tiny little bit if I'm honest. Where I haven't quite got the fur as, light, as, as nice as I would like, but it's not bad. It's not bad. Let that tack dry a little bit and then we'll hit it with another one. See how we get on. So just popped about two or three quarts on it now, so I'll give you a little bit of a look. And there we go. So is it the best finish in the world? No. Is it a hundred percent better than it was? I'd say that. And the slightly tea coated rear panny is really makes a difference. I'm quite pleased with that. What it has, though highlighted, is that this looks rubbish. So I think while I've got the rattle can out, I'm going to give this a bit of a clean. Just put a little bit of masking up and round it. Um, and see if we can get that looking a little bit nicer than it does. So let's give it a go. All the low fairing is now dry. And I'm pleasantly pleased with that. You can see all the damage is gone. The colour's fairly consistent with what was already there and this was about making it look less worse than it was. And at some point I am probably going to paint it the same colour as the uh, as the actual bike itself just to blend it all in nicely but for now I'm really quite pleased with that. I've also painted these, they were horrible washed out grey so they're now nice and satin black. Same on the other side, so just masked it all off. I uh, rubbed it down, give it a bit of a clean and 100% um, better as well. So I think that's probably going to draw this video to a conclusion. Um, I'm really pleased with it. I think that compared to what it looked like before I started, I think it's 100% better. Is it perfect? No, but am I happy with it? Yeah, yeah I am. Need to order a new one of these because it's also scuffed and chewed up. Uh, it took the brunt of it, so I'm going to get a new one of those. And I need to keep my eye open for, um, for a black fairing because there's no way that square there is ever going to be replaced. Um, with anything so I need to see if I can find another black NT that's been broken on eBay so I'll set myself a little search up if one comes out of the right fair enough it um, swap that over and then she'll be back as uh, as good as gold again and then fingers crossed this time I keep her off the road keep her off the belly and um, I won't have to do this again so thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed the video and um, if you have give us a little like and maybe a follow if you'd like to and um, comment underneath if there's any uh, any bit you want to add like i say i know that it's not the best job in the world but it's it's my aim was to make it look less worse than it does and i'm, I'm, I'm pleased with that so again thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one